Hey there, YouTube, this is Nancy 3 on the Duel Show Pro Channel, giving you guys my You Bell deck profile. Uh, a little disclaimer this isn't the best build, this is my personal build and what I've kind of worked on from, you know, basically kind of working backwards. Uh, originally, I was actually going to have um, uh, Shadow X, who's actually been on uh, both my channels actually uh, multiple times. He has been in a while, but he's always been a guy that's always been good at building weird interesting decks that you could honestly play at locals and just have fun with it but that didn't really work out uh also with the whole delay because i was supposed to i was supposed to give you guys a video back in like july you know like august 1st by the latest and it's like two weeks well after that so i just want to say sorry guys for that but this is also deck follow let's get into it uh first off of course you run all three carnations of Ubel. Uh, double the first one and singles the others. You could play triple, but it does clog. Uh, but yet again, if that doesn't really bother you, especially with Lower Darkness, you could definitely banish one. It doesn't really matter. Uh, Armageddon Knight, you dump, you belt. Pretty simple, that's the whole point of it. Uh, Mystic Tomato, if it gets destroyed by battle, special summon, you belt. Pretty simple. Uh, Ash Blossom, because Ash Blossom just stops a lot. Just basically stops everything. Uh, battle Fader, just, be, uh, just stop monsters. Monster attacks, and I'll of course, it's, you know, it's another shield on board, so, yeah. Uh, Magical Planner, because we run a shit ton of continuous traps. Uh, Lower Darkness, because we run a shit ton of dark uh, terraforming. Double Power Duality, because you actually do not special summon all that much. The whole point is basically to bring out your bell, and you just sit on it. And if they get rid of it, you bring out the next one. If they get rid of it, you bring out the final one. Simple strategy. Uh, Savage Coliseum. Now, what Savage Coliseum does is basically makes every face up attack position monster attack during that battle phase. If they do not attack, they get destroyed at the end of the turn. Not that big of a deal. It's also a good way to trigger you build the fact to go for the next incarnation and so on and so forth. Uh, Little Reverse, bring back you belt. It's just a call of honor specifically for <laughs> that. It's, it's one of these, you could honestly play Call of Haunted, but uh, I don't know. It's just, I, I, I like this better somewhat. I don't know why, but I just like it better. Uh, Statue of the Anguish Pattern. It's a trap monster. You build effects, uh, you build and, and phase effect is that you have to destroy another monster to keep on board. If it destroys itself with its own effect, it won't go to the next carnation, which sucks. Honestly, they should really arrive at that so it can just progressively go uh, for itself. So just make, make the whole idea a lot stronger. So, I mean, it's also 25 uh, shields. Mother Flex, same, same thing, 3000 shields. And of course, Magical Planter. Final attack orders. Make all monsters a face of attack position. Pretty simple. Uh, and light of intervention. Monsters cannot be set face down. Really, you run, you basically, the whole idea is you have light intervention, final attack orders, Savage Coliseum, and one of the U-Bells. That's the main strategy of the deck. Now, are you going to do that every time? No. But when you do get it, holy shit, like, your opponent will not have any idea of how to respond to it. It's great. Extra deck, you don't really need any extra deck. You could. You could definitely tech in a lot of interesting stuff, especially for rank 4 plays if you really want to. Or synchro plays because Ash Blossom is a tuner. But that's up to you. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, if you like what you see, please comment, like, and subscribe. Down below in the description is the Do It On Facebook page, uh, me on Patreon. Uh, and yeah, just let me know what you guys think. If you have any tips, tricks, or advice, put it down in the comments. That'd be great. Get some discussion going. And of course, the Do so Facebook page is basically the best place uh, for the community itself. Or if you just want to give me shit, by all means. Uh, also, if you guys want to vote for the next uh, deck profile that I do, uh, I always uh, put on uh, uh, do on the Do so Facebook page. And it's only for 24 hours. And once you're uh, voted, you're voted. That's it. I'm kind of rambling right now. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.